Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. To complete this repair, you will need a Phillips screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of cutters, and a zip tie. Today we're looking at a GE refrigerator and the complaint is a squeaking noise. What we found is the noise was coming from the compressor compartment in the rear of the refrigerator. We actually found that the condenser fan motor was making the noise. So we're going to replace the condenser fan motor today. To replace the condenser fan motor we're going to need to gain access to the rear of the refrigerator. Now that we have access to the rear of the unit, we can remove our back panel. To do that, there are 10 quarter inch or Phillips screws to remove. And now we can take our back panel off. Now with the back panel removed, we can remove our three Phillips screws of the condenser fan motor bracket. The bottom two screws here, you can use quarter inch or Phillips screwdriver. Now we can rotate our fan motor bracket here and remove it. There's going to be a zip tie here that's holding the wires of the motor around the drain tube here, so we're going to need a pair of cutters. All right, so we're just going to get rid of the zip tie here. And that'll release that, and then we're just going to remove the Molex connector for our fan. All right, we're just going to pull our fan blade straight off the motor shaft. All right, we're going to remove two quarter inch screws to separate our bracket. Now we can install our new fan motor. To do that, we're going to remove the back half of our bracket here, making sure our grommet stays in it. And now we can remove the motor, making sure the other grommet stays in the front there. And you can just feel here that this motor shaft is just all bound up. The bearings are getting shot inside of there. Now we'll install the new fan motor. We're going to reinstall our two quarter inch screws. Okay, now we can reinstall our fan blade. All right, before we reinstall our condenser fan motor, we're just going to wipe up the dust from the fan blades. Okay, now we can reinstall our condenser fan motor assembly. First thing we'll do is plug in our wire harness here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put a new zip tie around the harness, around the drain tube here.
All right, with the top of the assembly tip to the right, we're gonna slide it back into pos position. And now we can reinstall our Phillips or quarter inch screws. And our Phillips screw at the top. And now we can reinstall our back panel. All right, we're just gonna line our two tabs up here into the frame of the refrigerator. And the power cord comes up the left side here. And now we can reinstall our quarter inch or Phillips screws. And that will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.